do is I'm going to demonstrate how to do the inking of your superhero. That's basically the, bl the black outline that you'll be doing over your pencil work that you've transferred over uh, while setting your reference image. So just to recap the whole idea, we've gridded our reference image. We've created a new grid that was like this grid on our larger sheet of paper, but we've upped the size. You can up the size to whatever it is that you like. We went um, one and a half times larger. So we went from one centimeter by one centimeter to 1.5 by 1.5 centimeters, making sure our X and Y axis was labeled alike. And we carefully transferred the image, again, covering up the rows and just working left to right. Uh, that was my recommendation for someone that's new to drawing. Just working left to right and looking at what you see in every single box and carefully transferring it over. I also suggested that any areas on the original illustration that are solid black, signifying core shadows on the figure form, uh, that you can actually color those in with pencil. So I didn't get Captain America fully transferred here, but we've got a good chunk of him transferred over. So I'm going to use this for my demo today. Okay, so just imagine that the entire figure is um, transferred over and that you've kind of looked at the overall drawing, gone, gone back. You'll likely have to erase parts and smooth outlines once you transfer the whole figure out. When you're going box to box, it's a little bit choppy and you're using very sketchy lines. And then when you kind of step back when you've got the whole figure transferred over, you might have to erase and be like, you know what? His cheek here looks a little too chubby or the chin looks a little too short or maybe this looks a little bit fuzzy. So I'm gonna erase this and smooth out this curved line and so on. Uh, you can clean up your figure a little bit, okay? And then again, you wanna make sure that any areas that are solid black in the drawing, you color them in with pencil. Um, when you're happy with it, and if I okay it, if you're with me, the day that you finish the step, uh, again, make sure that I okay it, or some if you're working from home, uh, someone else, an adult, uh, a sibling, can look it over and give you some critical feedback on whether it looks okay or not, or if you have to adjust anything. Okay, at this point, you wanna take a large eraser, and I would take some scissors and just cut a little piece off of it. This is my trick to getting a really nice, sharp eraser, okay? And this will help you erase the grid lines within your drawing without erasing anything important. It gives you that nice sharp edge so that you can get into those small areas and really clean up your drawing. You don't have to clean it up perfectly, but you want to get rid of as many grid lines so that you don't accidentally ink them, okay? So get rid of any lines that are distracting within your drawing. Don't worry about the lines surrounding your character just yet. We can get rid of those later. So just any obvious grid lines that we might accidentally ink inside. Again, I've only got a part of my Captain America here, but I'm assuming that you guys have the whole figure transferred over at this point. All right, so now the grid is nice and cleaned up. And you would do this head to toe. Okay, now I'm going to begin inking my character. Okay, we're using Pigma Micron uh, illustration pens. There's different varieties on the market. Uh, we've been using these at our school for years now. They're high quality illustration inking pens. They don't run at all and you can purchase them with different tips. So for this assignment, I like a 0.2 tip. Um, it's quite thin, but not so thin that it's not noticeable. A 0.3 tip is even nice, but 0.3 I find that it stands out a little bit too much. Here you want the form of your character to stand out, you want the shading of them to stand out, but you still want that faint, crisp outline. Okay, so 0.2 is really nice for this. Um, again, all those black areas or those penciled in areas where you had the black core shadows on the form that you're working with, you can go ahead and you can actually color those in as you go with the Micron inking pen. It's quite nice and smooth. You'll, you'll actually really love this uh, step because it's very satisfying going over all of those lines that you worked so hard to perfect with nice, straight, smooth black ink lines, okay? If you have larger areas on your superhero that are black, for instance, two, two questions? 
Okay, I'm just too filming this. Um, if you have larger black areas on your figure, for instance, Storm, okay? Storm here. Whoever is doing Storm, you've got lots of solid core shadows on her between her boots her cape, her costume, the core shadows on her flesh, they're a lot softer. So although it looks like there's a lot of black and browns in here, I would leave this to pencil crayon so that you can nicely blend this kind of charcoaly color into the shadows on her body. However, these really, really solid dark shadows on the costume, they're quite large, right? So you're not necessarily going to want to color those in with a pen that is this small because that might take you forever, okay? Um, so what I would do is I would just, again, outline. You probably did, right? Transfer this image and then shade those areas in just like I told you to. But what you wanna do if they're really, really large black areas is I would just go ahead and outline them with the micron pen and then either go and purchase a, a thicker Crayola black marker or you can just go ahead and use a black Crayola pencil crayon and color those in nice and dark, okay? You don't wanna go coloring in very large areas with a tip that's small because again, you're just going to be chewing up a lot of time doing that. Ideally, I mean, so long as your pen lasts, you could. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to start outlining my Captain America. I've cleaned him up. I've, I've again, I've revisited my drawing, making sure that all the proportions look correct. Again, proportion alludes to the sizes of things in the image, like his features, his jawline, his head, his shoulder, his limbs, his torso, and so on. The sizes of things in comparison to each other, how they relate to each other in size. Okay, he looks bigger here, but he still looks like he's proportionate, so that's good. Went over all of my lines, just erased all of the grid that was distracting within the drawing, and I'm just going to carefully start outlining him, okay? So if you have an unstable hand, don't press on the paper and keep on going, okay? Because your hand might get a little bit shaky. So what I suggest you do is just take small breaks, okay? So if I'm starting with the top of his head here, I might lift my hand every so often, Okay, if you have a really, really steady hand, then you can keep on going for a while. And notice while I'm doing this, I'm not worried about what I'm outlining because my drawing was really, really crisp and clear. And I only transferred the lines that I really want to uh, outline. So this part should be nice and relaxing. You shouldn't have to look over at this drawing so much anymore, okay? The rough work is really key, making sure that your grid is correct and making sure that the lines that you're transferring over are accurate and they're neat so that you know exactly how to follow along them with your micron pen. So this way you can just relax and go. Every so often you might glance back just to make sure that anything that isn't clear, you can clarify on the spot. So keep this guy nearby. But for the majority of this, you shouldn't have to be staring at the original drawing anymore. 
However, do not throw at the original drawing because our next step is going to be to study it in terms of the colors that we see on it. Okay, and you're going to keep on going. Notice I'm outlining everything, including those dark areas. And then when I'm done outlining everything, I'm going to go in and color them in. Okay, I'm just going to break the video here and then I'll continue in a little bit.